one, it is... Oh, I see a Steffi in the reflection. Hello, Steffi. Um, it is Thursday. It is our uh, second day at sea. It is the first of two days at sea after our uh, Sydney stop. And uh, it was... We, like, it, it was a quiet day by, like, you know, there wasn't a port, whatever, but we got a lot of stuff in. So, uh, we started off with another art auction. Um, not much to kind of point out there. There was some cool stuff. There was a lot of focus on, like, big ticket stuff, and it's like, that's not our price range, but it was still kind of interesting to see. Um, I left towards the end of that. There was a hole-in-one tournament, or so they call it. It was a mini-golf tournament. Uh, there's, there's nine mini-golf holes on the Venezia. Um, and multiple other carnival ships as well. Um, and I participated in that. Probably about 20 people signed up for it. Um, and uh, what they did was they did three holes uh, where there was a stroke limit. And uh, after those three holes, then they whittled it down to six people uh, who had had the uh, best scores so far. Reset the scores to zero. And whoever did the best uh, on the next two holes won the tournament. I was a finalist. I was in that top six. Um, but unfortunately, I hit the stroke limit. Like, I, I got it in on the stroke limit, but I hit the stroke limit between those two holes. Um, but of seven, three on one hole and four on the next, uh, someone got two and two with four strokes. So they, they took the um, the 12 karat plastic <laughs> trophy of the Venezia. Uh, but it was, it was a lot of fun. It took about an hour. Um, one of the holes had uh, quite the interesting strat on it. Like, I was just amazed that it worked. It was this kind of thing where, like, there's a hill that goes up. Well, I'll, I'll just show you. Right. That shouldn't work, but it did. I got a two on that hole doing that thing. I was I was eighth uh, from the start on, on all of them, and the like, first person did that, and they landed in that little, like, circle of, of blocks, and I was like... That was luck. They just kind of smacked it and that happened. It happened like four or five more times before I was even up. I was like, okay, yeah, we're gonna... This is a, like a four hole, a four stroke limit on this one. I'll I'll take a shot. It worked. So. Came back to the room and uh, tonight was an, another Dine Elegant uh, evening. So I uh, got dressed up again, went to dinner, didn't end up taking photos. We, we got some great photos the first Elegant Dining Night of the Cruise. Uh, that we're super happy with, so we didn't bother, you know, doing any of the photos like that. But uh, while we were still dressed up, we did um, another uh, comedy show with Manny Acosta uh, that we really enjoyed. Came back to the room, changed back into comfy clothes, hung out a bit, and then we uh, went to the Epic Rock uh, stage show in the theater. Um, and I, I mentioned the Broadway Beats one a couple days ago, um, and I think there were a couple of oversights. I was excited about it, whatever. There, I think I had a couple of oversights about it. So let me just say really quick before I talk about uh, Epic Rock that um, Wardrobe killed it. Wardrobe was amazing on Broadway Beats, and for that matter, Epic Rock. Um, but especially like Broadway Beats, there were points where someone had, you know, they went off stage, and they had maybe a verse and a half to do a costume change before coming back on stage. And it looked amazing. They did fantastic. Like, all the all the costumes looked great. Uh, the rapid changes were amazing. If it's something that you're even, like, aware of, they did a fantastic job. Another thing I wanted to mention, like, there were the moving scaffolds and stairs that you saw in the last video that I mentioned it. And they were doing all this while the ship was in motion. I mentioned hearing a, a room full of seniors go, whoa, when there was a particularly spicy roll. Um, and there was some of that happening during the show itself, and they just, like, rolled with it. Um, so massive kudos to the performers as well. Um, Epic Rock, again, the uh, same set of performers, all very talented. Um, Wardrobe took it easy for a few songs at the start, um, but then, like, really did show off again uh, as well. Um, overall, um, I think we enjoyed Broadway beats better because they're musical songs and they're meant to be kind of sung and danced to. Um, with Epic Rock, they, um, Steph put it that they Broadwayified them. Is that? Yeah. Um, and so, like, you know, they invented choreography 
And uh, these aren't songs that are meant to be danced to, in some extent, to, in some cases. Some of them it worked very well. I'm actually happy one of the, at least one of the ones that I got video of, it worked really well. Some others, like, I couldn't help but laugh. It's like, it just felt cheesy, dorky, cringe. Um, it was... The performers did a fantastic job, but the perf but the material wasn't quite right for what they were doing. I still had fun. I still had a great time. Oh, and I made a friend. Uh, hi, Steph, again. Hello. Um, in the uh, cup holder of the seat in the theater, I met a ducky. Oh, what luck. You found the duck. Congratulations. So I am going to... Write my name on the back of the tag, and leave the duck somewhere tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is the last full day of the cruise, and I don't see that it's been found by anybody else, at least nobody that's wanted to claim the duck. I have no intentions on keeping the duck. I do not need a rubber ducky. Don't give me that look. We'll find you someplace. Um, so, uh, hi from, Vir from Virginia Beach is the, uh, is, is the uh, comment on that. So I will uh, put my name and... Maybe the YouTube channel where people can find this. There it is. And remember to use that hashtag when mentioning the duck. <laughs> so, hi, if you found a duck with this YouTube channel on it, hello from upstate New York. Um, me and the duck are happy to see you. So, um, tomorrow is our last full day at sea, and we've got um, a couple things planned. I, th I don't think we have too much planned. We've got reading to do. Steph has moved on to Witch King, having finished her... A trilogy of books that she brought and I'm still working my way through a light novel of implied sins anyway um uh yeah so at least one more big video at the end of the day tomorrow and we are already figuring out our debarkation Saturday morning bright and early so um starting to come to an end but it has been such a magnificent a magnificent vacation so far an absolutely wonderful time so i will see you all tomorrow for uh, at least one video if not more on our last full day at sea mm -hmm.